right, so I have made my decision. Uh, it's been a while since I. Hi, how you doing? Why does he have a pirate hat on? Because. Bless us now. What Why not? Want? I just wanted to say hi. I really, really, really want to learn more about telemarks. Slow down there, rookie. There's no need to be in a rush to grow up so fast as possible. Take your time, enjoy life, hang out with the crew, and get to know your surroundings. You know, I would take that advice if not for the fact that I've got nothing else to do and I'm bored out of my goddamn mind. Anyway, I guess <laughs> I can always ask later. Welcome, Riza. <coughs> e. Sure, you know what? I'll just ask later and see if there's anything else that needs to be done before I make my decision on what I want to do. What do I want to do when I grow up? That's kind yeah, of the that's really kind cool. of what's going on here. So, <laughs> so oh, Is that right? I, what's up, Riza? Did you not want to be a serial killer? Fuck what? no. <laughs> what do you gain from killing people? No, 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 not a serial killer. A serial killer. What the fuck oh. is the difference? You're killing cereal. Oh, so you're saying I'm killing Cheerios or something? You're Kellogg's Frosted Flakes? Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> only the only the shitty cereal. Okay, so, um, Lucky Charms? Actually, no, whoa, whoa, like whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, you don't like Lucky Charms? No, 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 hold on, hold on. Like, Lucky Charms, you can tell, is very artificial. No, I would kill a Raisin brand. Uh, I can actually agree. I'm not a big fan of the Raisin brand cereal. It's mainly because I just don't like raisins. Yeah, same. I know that raisins are just great, or just like wrinkle, or just like, I guess, They're sun dried grapes. Dried. They're dried grapes, but I like to eat the grapes as they normally are, not, you know, wrinkled. Yeah, that's the thing I come to realize. Like, I couldn't explain it as a kid. It just... It felt weird. The texture, like, there's this weird texture, and there's just... The movement it is, like, it has, it's just something that's off. It's dried and wrinkled. It's like, it feels like you're eating something that's supposed to be gooey, but it's not. And it's like, it feels slimy, but it's not. It's just... It's it's too undetermined, you know? Yeah. And basically, right, because that, like... Considering that they're raisins, or because they're dried grapes, you're eating something dead. You know, it's more than usual. Yeah, for the same people thing in the with, chat. Yes, go ahead. Rise I, up. I was gonna say for, for the people in the chat are saying they don't like Lucky Charms. It's okay to be wrong. <laughs> it's okay. Don't be a dick, ma'am. Holy shit! Don't be a dick. <laughs> Lucky Charms, man. Honestly, I prefer Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Yes, I love Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, or uh, what's it called? Um, Golden Grams, I think they were called. I need to try Golden Grams. I mean, obviously, they're all just sugar, but fuck, dude. There's a certain taste and texture that is, like, I can't define it. Like, they're all saccharinely sweet, but there's something satisfying about it. Yeah, Cinnamon Toast Crunch has that. Frosted Flakes has that. Um, I think Pops has that. Pops is really good. Pops is okay. Um, like, actually, something I remembered, um, I don't know if it's still around anymore. You ever heard of Kix? K-I-X? Yeah. Oh, yes. yeah, I used like, to it, eat that one back then. Yeah, like, it doesn't, like, it doesn't, like, have as much of a sweetness to it, but it's got something of a flavor. It's got something that makes me want to crave it more. Yeah, I used to, to put a eat Kix a lot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I used to eat kicks a lot because my dad has a tendency of because since he worked in the grocery in you know in a grocery store department he would always know which were the better ones to buy and which ones to avoid because in his opinion the store brands are better the other brands okay, are always a little cute. bit more pricey. Oh, he's got a little trick. I had a feeling there was going to be like Halloween based stuff considering the month. We way back when uh, my friend actually did a cereal tier, tier list. Of like every possible cereal and like and grocery stores, mm -hmm. and I think Kix was actually in his bottom tier, like bottom of bottoms. Yeah, I, <clears throat> I remember the, the Kix. Uh, Kix. I like. I Kix, think this, though. Go ahead. Yeah, I like Kix too, but I think I remember that the Nostalgia Critic did a video. Well, like during his um his commercials video, he did mention he didn't like Kix. Okay, and well, apparently good for him. 
Who's yeah. Astro Flare? Oh, that's um, Astro Flare is Kitty, isn't she? I gotta ask oh, her. Because yeah. I remember uh, she uh, used to call herself Astro by GF on DeviantArt. Are Ooh, you? Okay. On the plus side, I got my iPod fixed at last. But I did have to pay a hefty penny for it. Oh, so Mila also likes Razor Bran. Okay, that's okay, Rob. That's okay, Mila. It's okay to be wrong. Oh! <laughs> okay, no, I, I, I'm joking, I'm joking. It's okay to like Raisin Bran, you know? You don't have to like what everybody else likes. You do yeah. you. Like, I'm that weird, I'm that person who prefers Honey Nut Cheerios over the other yeah, Cheerios. We... Oh, oh shit! Oh crap! Well, For a second, I thought I was gonna fly through, like, be able to fly through the stream. I thought it was, you know, trans, like, Water. I didn't think it was fizz. It was actually. My dad likes frosty mini weeks. I tried to like frosty mini weeks. The problem is, is that whether it's mini weeks or the big weeks, they're just giant chunks that you have to focus on doing instead of just like scooping <laughs> something up and eating out of it. I, I can understand that, but I did enjoy eating them the one time my dad bought them. I thought they were pretty damn good, but God I can damn understand. It, Jedi, come on. I can understand the frustration of trying to eat the mini wheats, and then you're just kind of struggling to finish the damn Actually, wheat to begin with. There was something I did at one point that I thought was really cool, or like, like I thought it was good. Um, after I poured the bowl in and everything, um, like I poured myself a thing of wheats, and I made a, like obviously pouring the milk and everything. I would put it in the microwave and let it mush apart, and then just like have like somewhat of a like a warm sort of like hot cerealish like sort of experience with it. Oh, so sort of like an oatmeal type of thing. <laughs> I kind of, but it's not really oatmeal. It's 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 wheat. Yeah. Like, it would melt apart and everything, so it would have this nice, like, warm, gooey sort of taste to it. Uh, I can understand that. That's that's just a guess. Yeah. My dad's a huge fan of, like, um, like that type of thing, mainly the oatmeal stuff. I couldn't get into it. It just tastes so weird trying to Whoa, eat Whoa, what the hell? Oh, all right. Oh, that's where that takes me. Okay. Ah, it's just weird trying to eat a cereal that's warm. It is, which is why, like, I was like, I was like, okay, some people are gonna find that really off, so I better like choose my words carefully. So, um, on the topic of um, cereal, something that uh, Chrissy is always a fan of is that there's always those different flavored, um, because there's a Count Chocula. And then uh, there's like other ones, like there's a Frankenberry, Booberry, <laughs> like just everything else is just berry, which I'm like, well, I don't know why they don't go for like their own variety, and not just berry after berry, but it's <clears throat> it, it, it comes it, it comes around just during Halloween, and she likes to uh, she likes to have Booberries. Mm, okay. Which reminds me, uh huh. I saw a box of Count Chocula, and on the side of it. It had like the mascot, it had the vampire, the Frankenstein, the ghost, and then there was a werewolf. I'm like, I don't ever see the werewolf. What flavor is he? It's probably like another berry, which, if it is, I will not be surprised. Mm, yeah. <clears> Hold <throat> on. Because, like, I tried to find it at the store when I noticed the werewolf, but I couldn't find it. Hmm, that's weird. It was just there for the mascot. But why does he have a box then? Your guess is as good as mine. Okay, so dandelion tamer. Maple sweet as dandelions on the day of save. Where is maple sweet again? Fine dancer across the river. Hmm. I think this is uh, down in Ponyville. Where's, um... Wait. Oh, that's right. That's how you access the map. Okay. The werewolf is fruit fruit. Clouds like clay. I still don't know what I have to do with that. Um... Interesting. Oh, the, I, I'm, I'm actually facing towards the exit. Okay. <coughs>
What does this do? Hmm. Oh my god, that's perfect! I would love that. What? Is it... Someone... Okay, so in response to the whole Markiplier is gonna make an OnlyFans account... Yeah? He... Someone literally said, Is it wrong that I want Markiplier's OnlyFans to come out, and it's just an hour loop of Boat Dog or something? That'd be so funny. <laughs> on one hand, that would be kind of a really power trolling what move, but on hell? the other hand... <laughs> Why did you suddenly sink through the floor? Game glitchy again, game glitchy again. You know, it would have been it would have been amazing if, you know, I could help give advice and maybe they can like I could help them fix a couple of things if they weren't so, you know so mad driven into bad faith. Pretentious. Whoa. Yeah, pretentious, um, Assuming the worst, thinking I'm trying to stream this game out of bad faith. Assholes. <laughs> You're subtle. Plebeian country. I won't be a subtle. I'm sorry, Ryza? I ain't gonna be subtle about it. Damn it. Buffinis? <coughs> but no, like, one side of me is, isn't surprised that Mark Poy is making an OnlyFans fan. But at the same time, it's just like, because I think we were just talking about the other end of Aeon and Logic. And there, uh, someone said it. I can't remember who said it. But they're like, it's just so easy for them to leak his pictures. I'm like, I'm pretty sure he knows that, and I highly doubt he cares. I was the one who said it, because I was worried that if Mark really does make an OnlyFans account, people are going to just leak the photos somehow. I mean, look at Nakato Avocado. The weirdo has a fucking OnlyFans, and it gets leaked so many times. Okay. Like, There's two very big things between yeah. Nick Avocado and Mark Fire. For mm -hmm. one, Nick Avocado is not attractive. Markiplier is. <laughs> Markiplier is very, very handsome. Dude, no that guy has a chin. He has a chin. He has the muscles. He has the voice. Oh, yeah, his voice. You know, if he actually, like, if he did whisper into, like, any of her ears, yeah, we'd probably get goosebumps. Yeah, I would... I would personally love to see him actually do like whole, like narrations. Holy spams! I love that Jedi. That's funny. Holy spams! <laughs> and like I know for a fact he's been involved in one narration story, and that's it. Um, Where's that translation? Course, I gotta look into this. And of course, he's proven himself to be a fantastic actor. Not only in his own projects, but, like, other fan projects. I remember the uh, Five Nights at Freddy's one that he was in. Oh, yeah. With uh, Nate Wants the Battle and uh, the Game Theory. Yeah, I remember that one. I was also thinking of um, the um, the Syndigo series, the Syndigo Danger and Fiction videos. Have you seen um, Matt Pat's collab with the um, Warp Zone with Captain Planet? No. Dude, Matt Pat could falsetto like no one's business. It's actually crazy. <laughs> nice. Can be you. <clears throat> Alright, where does this uh take me? Anterlot. Canter lot. Ah, son of a! I saw a jack o' lantern like sunk halfway through. <laughs> what kind of area is this? I thought canter lot was like at a cliff. Well, pff. right. Oh, SpongeBob, me boy. At the gala, 
at the gala in the garden. Yep. I'm going to see the mall. It's been a while since I heard that song. Yeah, same. I forgot that was a song until you just sang it. I still like. I still have fond memories of watching season one. Like a lot of people don't like it, and that's understandable. Where is this taking me to, anyway? Oh God, it's taking me to the Heartlands, isn't it? Uh -huh. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, okay. no, no. I need to. I need to turn around. This is dangerous. Like, I'm trying to figure out where the train station is that would take me straight to Ponyville. Um, sweet. Whatever I got lost when I played this, I just flipped where we hide in the air and just kind of, like, did that. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's just one of those occasions where sometimes you just gotta cheese it. What's this? Yeah. That thing keeps on popping up. I don't um, think it's che I don't think it's really <laughs> cheesing it, but more of using your racial ability. <laughs> You know what? Fair. The other day, um, it was Sunday. Yeah, it was um, it was actually I think Saturday. I came across an old shit. Uh, Whoa! What is this? Video. Wait, what? Wait, what? I have never uh, entered. Oh, this is. Oh, is this is the real castle at the hall? gala. Yeah, this is at where the gala, gala ticked place. <laughs> oh, that door's closed. Okay. Uh. Camera. Uh, it's not really the camera's fault here. Uh -oh. Nothing here? No? Oh, wait, there is. Hey, Red Zico's comment. The Heartlands yep. can be tough, but daytime music is beautiful. I don't know why this came on my mind, but I'm just like, whoa, they're whoa, that whoa, tough. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay. Let's... It's like, I didn't mean to Colton work, goes back to the Heartlands and he sees an enemy, pulls out a gun. Oh, God <laughs> almighty. And I pull out my gun! Alright, let's see what's up here. I can't see diddly squat. Okay, so it's just a giant flower. Why is it here? What was so important? What what is the logic of the game? I have no idea. So it's over here. Stairs. More stairs. Okay. Oh, that is cute. Oh, this was a kind of Isn't this where Pinkie Pie like burned everything? Yeah. No. Sing us a song, you're the piano man. Sing us a song tonight. Well, we're out in the mood for a melody. And you've got us feeling all right. Oh, you sing, uh, da -da, da -da -da. you sing that, and all I can think of is tonight. We, we are, are young. So I'll set the we world set the on fire. fire. A little can... bit of brighter than the sun. sun. Wasn't there supposed to be a garden around here? I, I thought there I was think... a garden. Maybe they I just didn't. Remember... Oh, those are Sorry. just those are just paintings. Hmm. I was like, I do know there's a garden, but it has to be probably outside. But where the heck it leads? Maybe they didn't design it yet. That's what probably. Thinking. Yeah. So Where's the weapon armory? Ryza, you're not gonna commit an attack, you gooper! Wayne, where's the guard? Golden's you're really got a gun, to... blue blood's on the run, but when making Golden Sap, he was tired of blue blood's crap? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you trying to oh, reference I know that... to Jamie got a gun from Aerosmith or something? I think so. Jamie got a gun. Dun, 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 dun. Bow. That is such a dark song. It's it's a good <laughs> song though. It is. It, it kind of reminds. I really love it when you end up when you look at titles of certain songs. And you're like, oh, this looks kind of silly. But then you hear the actual song that's like, oh. I remember a lot of people didn't understand the concept of what a something. Uh, not something in the era. Uh, feel a call. What is it called? I can feel it. Calling in the air tonight. Oh yeah, in the air tonight by, by, um, by Phil, Phil Collins. Collins. Yeah, apparently the song is about him venting about lose um, getting a divorce from his um, from his wife and kids. Yeah, because um, if I remember correctly, Face Value was literally a very angry song, album about his divorce. I just got DM'd by Ripple. Ooh. I think I found the train location near Encantramore. Oh. 
I w Ripple, I hope you're feeling better. Because I, like, if you're, like, I would not mind adding you in the call. It's just, it started to become a little bit of a thing lately where it's just more of an interaction with the chat when I do these kind of streams. And that's cool, you know? It kind of broadens the horizon of who I interact with and, you know. Yeah, no yeah. worries. Wait, what kind of... Well, who is that? I'm trying to get a good view. Ah, 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 I got it so yeah. tilty. Okay. I know who it is. Who is that? Squidward. Um, no. no! God fucking damn it. You are too obsessed with Squidward, right? <laughs> uh, I, 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 do think it's, I do think it's funny that our head's like 180 degrees <laughs> in a different direction. I, I kind of now want to do it. I need to eventually commission Brogard where it's just where your character literally is, is called Squidward and you just call out for Def. And you're like, I'm getting paid overtime for this, right, Def? Sorry, can't hear you. Listen, I'm not obsessed with Squidward. He's just a really fucking memeable character and it's hilarious. I mean, Def. You should also remember that Squidward's also kind of, well, not only because he's a meme, but the fact that he's become relatable in the eyes of the public in recent years. Hey, Ripple. He's on. When you're in distress. <laughs> that never gets old. Of course it doesn't. Okay. I remember, like, some people were like, ugh, sea ponies and My Little Pony or Friendship is Magic? Like, what's and wrong with that? Favorite. I like that they'll explore, like, Different exactly. Things. What's what's wrong with that? It's, I was hypothesizing that that would happen since season four. Yeah, and then yeah, they they became hippogriffs. Wait, isn't Go Ripple? Ahead. Isn't your character the, or isn't your OC the one of the wheelchair of her, with her fins? She yeah, yeah, she's part unicorn, part uh, mermaid. Yeah. Oh, unicorn, okay. Yeah, mostly I've unicorn. I've yeah. seen you then. I've seen you in uh, Yugi Bernie's things. Just now mentioning um, her being a. Like part mermaid. <laughs> Look at this stuff. Isn't it, Isn't neat? it neat? Wouldn't, Wouldn't they you think, think my collection's complete? complete? I was like, I recognize the, uh, I recognize the voice, and I remember the. Uh, I was like, oh wait, her OC was of Yugi Brownie. I was like, that's why I, why I recognized it. Yeah, wait, I, I was in a couple of his videos. Yeah. Hmm. You okay, think? if I'm looking at this image right, I think the train station is located. If you start at that circular plaza and then go straight south, hang on, let me backtrack. It should be uh, like. Yeah. Are you actually yeah, in the game? Uh, Legends of Equestria. Yeah. Are uh, you... I I haven't played in a long time. I don't think, I don't even remember how to get in anymore. So I don't. <laughs> All right. So. I'm, I'm guessing Ace. this is, is it north of the plaza because I see these few things here I can't tell what they are. They're just symbols actually <laughs> fly straight up in the air and I can tell you where you're at That's what that's the one that's the only way I traveled. All right. So okay, that's the way the plaza I, now I it looks like All right, so let's go high up in the air All right now look around so it looks like a little bit more to your left and you should be facing. Oh south. wait Is that it? I think that's yep. it. Yeah, that's the train station. Holy hell Riza this is this is such a saver. I told you. <laughs> Cheesing through the stage. Cheesing through the stage. Cheesing through the stage. There it is. I still. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> <laughs> He's agreeing with me. He agrees. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I agree. It's like um. It's like that wolf from uh the Storks movie. Also, oh, if you're in the okay. Good. Go ahead, Ripple. Uh, I was just giggling at the spazzing that happened just then. <laughs> but um, if you're in the air, Golden, you can double tap and you can fly like twice as fast. <laughs> double. Oh, I know about the double tapping. I'm just. Uh... Wait, are there no? Wait. So where's? So where does this take place? Uh, let's see. Dandelion Tamer, Maple Sweet. Okay, so where's Maple Sweet? Find dancer across the river. Give Maybe. Danny Lyons to Maple Sweet. I'm gonna tell you, the directions in this game weren't the best. I know. So I kind of just go ahead. <laughs> I thought I always assumed, like this is to me, this is one of those games that bases on old time RPGs. So you have to be care. You have to 
remember what they're saying. You have Otherwise, to, you're going to get lost. You have to be able to absorb what, the, like, the environment around you, you know? It's kind of like... Yeah. Okay, so to a lesser extent, as I mentioned this, uh, if you remember the first Metroid, obviously, in hindsight, the game has easily shown its age because you get lost so easily. A lot of the stages are going to be copy and paste, but you have to really, like, use your head to try to remember where you are because I had to do that because I tried playing Metroid the old-fashioned way, uh, many years before I was uh, streaming the game, and um, it did kind of take me forever, but I was able to beat it, and I was just sitting there thinking, like, I don't think I ever want to play this game again. <laughs> but... Well, the quest in this game, I literally had to, like, read what it was saying and copy and paste it onto a sticky note, just in case I forgot where it was at. But... You know, that would be pretty cool. Oh, there's a mines area. Let's see. I think you already completed that quest. Um, I think the, um, when I look at that... Okay, so, let's see, cloud-like clay. So, the green ones are saying, let's see, I should search a nearby armory. Does green mean finish, or does purple mean finish? Um, I thought I, the purple ones mean you were done. Actually, do I still have the to game one, on my Purple computer? ones, I think, are, um, purple ones, I think, are missions that you haven't done yet, and green ones are complete. Okay. Again, okay, I could so, be wrong. I... Uh, yeah, I know nothing about this game, so I'm afraid you're on your own on that in that regard. Yeah. <laughs> I want to say, if I saw it download, I would open it up and just try to compare. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's see, what gins on... What's this called? Gems in journal mean. Because there's a lot of things that are not clarified. LOE. No, <sighs> okay. Legit... Ah, 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 ah. Legends... Of Equestria gems, um, uh, miscellaneous, not equipable. Okay, so is an item that can be brought. Okay, um, so this is a Legends of Equestria wiki. Let's look up uh, journal and see what we have. Here we go. Quest. <laughs> Okay, so I, I, I hate these ads. They're so annoying. All right. If a player fails a quest, there's no likely to undo their... Oh! Wow. So this is kind of like real life. You make a mistake, you deal with it. Wah, 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 wah. That's horrible. <laughs> Full speed ahead. Um, What is it called? Sorry. Dandelion Timer? Tamer. Sorry. Okay, so, um... Oh, it's Dandel. Here we go, Dandelion Taylor. Speak to Meeple Sweep to begin. Okay, so Dandelion Tamer, yeah. In Ponydale, or Ponyville, I should say. Uh, at the plaza. So, um, I need to know where that is. I'm going the complete opposite end of it. Ah, there's downtown. Downtown Ponyville. Go downtown. Downtown! Downtown! There's like two versions of that now. Downtown. Yeah. But the other one I know is um, the one from the late 2010s. Yeah, no, that one, that one was like a really massive big collab, and I think they were like trying to capture some kind of 70s uh, vibe out of it. I could be wrong. Yeah, it did, yeah, it did have a 70s vibe to it. Okay. So let's turn guy. right. Uh. Turn right at El Quickie. <coughs> you know what? Yep. Hang on. Based on what uh, Jedi Padawan said, at this point, like the Heartlands, I'm just gonna call that Albuquerque. <laughs> Albuquerque. Because first oh, off, because first off, it's effing long, like the Weird Al song. Like it's like in three or four parts, <laughs> literally. And second, it's nuts. No offense to New Mexico. <laughs> uh, all I can think of is that all I can think of is that scene from I forgot which special <coughs> it was, but I remember Bugs Bunny just screaming, "A pumpkin! Oh, I'm dying again!" That's literally just reminding me of you, Gold, and just realizing, "Oh, great! I have to go again." I just remembered the uh, that. Pro Jared video. Here we where, go again. Uh, he was playing that that 
the, this one clown game, like I tried it before, and I failed miserably. Uh, but basically, if you don't get them all, you have to replay the stage. You have to actually, like, it's such a weird game. Uh. I have not gotten back to that Pokemon game I bought a while back. Which one? Um, I bought a modded version of uh, Pokemon Red, but instead of it being Pokemon Red, it's the creepypasta version of Pokemon Creepy Black. <sighs> the you one where you get... The turns into it's the one where you get the ghost as a starter. And it actually does function exactly like the creepypasta says. If you use ghost, if you use the ghost and you curse your Pokemon, they disappear. And if you curse a trainer, they do leave behind ah, tubestone. Ah, Maple Sweet. All right. Hey, how you oh. doing? I have some new perennials in stock if you're interested. That that's it. That's. Okay, so I'm guessing. Uh, just looking at it. No, not that. The journal. So. Okay, so I'm guessing purple is finished. Full speed ahead. Talk to Win Hoover. Yeah, I did all that before. Okay, it's all making sense. So I'm guessing purple means finished. A wolf and horse um, clothing. That was terrifying. Um, the ever shade is what they call it. Uh, sandwich stall. Yeah, so it looks like I did all these like side quests. Search for... Oh, God. Yeah, okay, hey. so I found the timber wolves. Okay, Nebulous Twitch at Evershade Guard Forest wants me to collect 10 barking shavings from the timber wolves. How do you do that? I gotta look this up. I guess you search for timber wolves and fight them and get their, uh, shavings? They're made of wood, though. Like, it's so confusing. Okay, yeah, it... They're reduced to splinters at that point. Ouch. You gotta commit murder. That's <laughs> commit murder. Um, apparently this is a oh, bizarre okay. side quest. Like, I had to risk getting my ass kicked. Hello, folk. Hey, Riley. Hello from my new microphone. Okay, Hello so from new microphone. Reason, for whatever reason, there's no search result for two bits. Okay. Um, let's go to Google in general. Legends of Equestria. There's a Google mobile. Da -da 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 -da. Yep. <laughs> Shame, Hello, Equestria guy. Two bits. I hate fucking ads. Who likes ads? Okay, I'm not looking for the currency bits. It's just... Oh, okay. Hang on. Quest. Okay, let's, uh, let's type in Timberwolf Quest. There we go. So it's just... Okay, so in the wiki page, they call it Timberwolf. Okay, that's gonna really mix me up. God, the developers really need to fix that. Okay, it's Equestria. Okay, uh, Ever Shade Forest, the Heartlands. These are da 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 da. Okay, so Timberwolf's name is the plan of real life gray wolf. Da da da. Okay, I'm not looking for trivia. Oh wait, He's no. For locations. That's not it. <sighs> Okay, um... The only ads I ever liked were toy ads on TV from the era of the 90s and early 2000s. You know if that's true. I remember all those Hot Wheel ads. Okay, so the Evershade is... It's to my right. I'm just gonna go past through all these houses here to get there faster, supposedly. Um... I'm, I'm, I know I'm supposed to be on, like, a path somewhere or a road, so... Let's go over this bridge here. Oh, I should download uh, LOE now that I think about it. Oh, hey, Ripple, I, how did I just notice you? Wait, did you, like, 
Did you, like, uninstall LOE or something? Hold on. I'm you, Golden. I'm glad you noticed me. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, Reza? Have you seen Pitch Perfect? I... I'm not sure what that is. Oh. Isn't that like some singing competition movie or something? It's the acapella music movie. But it's yeah, that really one. it's really <laughs> funny. Golden and the next what's your next day off? Uh, I think Thursday. Perfect. Thursday. I could be wrong. Uh let me see if I can look up where did I put my phone? Do, 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 and no, 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 no. And... No, you know what? Why not? Uh, Legends of Equestria. Okay, yeah. so, Riley in his Hawaiian okay, shirt. Okay, so I do work Thursday until one fifteen my end. I have Friday off. Okay. Well, I'm off Thursday. Do um. you before the stream? Would you want to watch Pitch Perfect with me? Sure. Yeah! There's like, like, the month is already half over. We still have yet to, like, binge watch a shit ton of horror flicks with friends. And yeah, we still haven't watched, like. I still love that last year, like, it was just, like, last minute. All of a sudden, I was like, wait, you guys haven't seen Evil Dead 2 yet? And Riley went to the trouble of just finding it online. Oh, I love Evil Dead 2 and Army of it's, Darkness. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Oh, it, it, it's, it's, it's definitely. It's, it's worth it. A, yeah, it's an absolute chef's kiss. Like, yeah, it's cheesy, it's stupid, but I love it. What the hell are those? I don't think I want to go near those things. They're not Timberwolves, that's for sure. There's a reason why people love it. Yeah, like, it's not, like, it's not, not every movie has to be smart, in-depth and everything. It just has to be fun and be aware of it. And it actually mm. does have, like, a good enough story to, like, contain, like, something fun to watch, you know? Well, you guys can enjoy yourselves with your horror movies. That's not my cup of tea, personally. That's fine. But it's spoopy season. I don't care about it being spoopy season. Alright, where's this son of a bitch? Alright, so, I think it's... But Whipple. Don't you butt Whipple me. Oh, mm. hello! Nope. Nope. Oh, not enough energy. Oh, shit. Okay, I gotta get... Nope. Oh, God. Oh, wow. How did it kill me, though? How? Eh. See, this is what I mean when some weird maniac... Ooh, what the hell? Who are these two? The Timberwolves. Princess the Timberwolves. Amore and Switchy Joy-Con. Switchy Joy-Con, you say? Whisper. Okay. Um, I thought Whisper would be like some kind of thing where you, uh... What is it, like, message them privately or something? What the hell? What just happened? Why can't I move? Oh, there I go. It's such a good... Hmm... See, invite, trade, report, add friend, and same thing. So, what the hell does Whisper do? Putus. Not that, uh. Putus. Okay, cool. I was checking. Wait, what I, even, how do I even? Okay. God, this is taking forever to update. God damn. Please. Legends of Equestria. Yeah, oh. this is taking forever. What was to... that? Why did the ground shake? Wait, outside. Uh, no, 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 no. In the game, like the in the game, shook. I saw yeah. it shake too. I was yeah, like, what the hell was that? I was about to say monster <laughs> coming. Monster, oh, maybe. I don't know if there are any dragons in the uh, Evershade. Did he do the mash? Did he the, do the monster mash? Mm -hmm. I heard it was a graveyard smash. Riley, I'm going to hit you. Also, 
uh, Ripple, yes, there is in fact dragons in Evershade. Not just with Timberwolves, but um, dragons and if I remember correctly... Uh, and bees. I... This, this is e my phobia. And bees. Yeah, I know. Fucking bees. And the ground shook again. There's something bees. giant around my here. God. Oh, not the bees! Not the bees! Ah, my Maybe eyes. I should close out a Twitch for the time God being. God damn it, I Bellow. missed. I, I can never hate Nicolas Cage. Oh, he's, he's so great. I love Nick Cage. I mean, when you when you read that the only reason he's doing all these terrible movies because he spent so much goddamn money, it's just amusing, to say the least. Well, because like, the thing is, he's not a bad actor. No, he's not. He's a fantastic he's, actor. Yeah, he does it because he knows... He he only does bad movies because he wants to. Yeah, I he thought he also to. owes money to the IRS or some shit, I'm too. I mean, it? that's what I always thought, but I'm pretty much sure Thing that... Okay. I'm pretty much sure he probably paid it off, considering all the movies he's in. Doesn't he own like a castle and some dinosaur bones? He owns um, multiple homes. Yeah. Like, he doesn't he actually, own a house in Germany or something? Um, he actually, ha I think he had to give up a lot of those things. I know for a fact he did own, um, the Lollary house in, um, New Orleans, but he had to give that up. But what I find amusing is that for the Wicker Man, he, since he apparently had a huge involvement in that movie, it was dedicated to, of all people, Johnny Ramone of the Ramones. Damn. Apparently because Johnny Ramone, whom um, Nicolas Cage was friends with, introduced him to the movie. Which is why he did the movie in the first place. Which explains <laughs> why that movie is completely over the top, to say the least. I need... I need to be able to get these two separated. Oh, the other hey, one's coming Riley. back. Oh, no. Riley. Hmm. What's up? The bees. Ah, not the bees! Not the bees! They're my eyes! Okay, so They're these two are eyes. just going to stay there. Aren't they? Good. Oh, God! Okay, they're coming in packs. Not a good idea. Neener, neener, neener. Run! Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna just haul ass. I was. Yeah, I was. I was about to say run, Forrest, run, but I forgot that you hate Forrest Gump. I mean, references and quotes. Like some people will say, like, "I drink your milkshake," and like, I'm not gonna uh, give a shit. I drink okay. your milkshakes. Oh no, resonates. I drink your. And isn't like milkshake. the debate that Jenny is a terrible person in that movie? Nope. What's up? Isn't like the whole debate too in that film how Jenny is a horrible person? Jenny? Yeah, the main love interest of Forrest. Um, I don't know. I've never seen Forrest Gump. I uh, no, I just I hate Forrest Gump on a more personal level. Gotcha. Which, again, personal, perfectly understandable. It's sort of similar to how I felt with Mother Twenty Seventeen. I want to like it because visually and in a sense the meta the metaphorical aspect of it are great. I just don't like the fact that it actually made me physically ill and uncomfortable. And that's not even getting to the infamous baby scene of that film. Oh. Okay, yeah, no, I do not want to, uh... Trust me, I'm that. not... Yeah, yeah, no, I, I do not recommend Mother 2017 unless you are interested in the director's... I will be back. Okay. Okay. Like, Hereditary is one I just do not want to, uh... <laughs> Watch uh, again. I, not again. I, I haven't watched at all. I just know of one... The infamous... Turn scene. But... Uh, I'm, I'm not too headstrong to get into that scene. I Word would... of headstrong. mouth says no. Headstrong. Yeah, yeah. That stupid <laughs> song is stuck in my head. I forgot the yeah. name of the band. I just... Uh, Trapped. Trapped. Oh, dear God. Yeah, trap became a huge joke to many people when um the when the the got when the lead singer of the band became so prevalent on Twitter. He had quite the tantrum. Uh, he had quite the tantrum. He was constantly using the account to voice his opinions and political views, and it just became sort of like, why the hell are you trying so hard to act this way? Oh, and hello. of course, and of course, people threw the fact that the only thing his band is known for is just for Headstrong. Well, what, what's what's hello? What's hello? What? Uh, there's a few Timberwolves in the World distance. World strong. 
Yeah, the dude had okay, I see decided one now. to shoot his mouth off and oh. stuff. It was like new metal, right? Yeah, it was like a new metal project. It, yeah, new yeah metal, I remember him. Alternative metal, you know that sh that sort of yeah. shit. I, the only reason I remember that song is because of like there would be these compilation CDs on commercials on TV that would have it in the compilation. Yeah, because they were because that was like their one hit wonder. That was a one hit wonder song, and that's it. After that, they just sort of fell out of relevancy. Opinions are like everyone has one, but not many people, especially on Twitter and Facebook, want to hear that it has one. Opinions yeah. are like assholes. No, um... Yeah. Aeon actually said it best. <laughs> Opinions are like farts. If you have to force it, it's probably shit. Yeah, especially on Twitter, because Twitter <laughs> really loves the whole, like, oh, I have to have my hot take on this certain thing, and everyone just kind of looks at you and goes... Why the fuck would you want to give us this stupid hot take? If there's any reason why a hot take happens, it's because if there's something how you feel compared to what everybody right. else has. It's not yeah, like, like if you do it just to be cool, you're you're a dumbass. I'm sorry. I mean I mean that's half the cartoon community considering every single day they just post like these very bad hot takes and then afterwards wonder why people are angry or hateful of them. Maybe because you guys need can't shut the fuck up for like two minutes of your life. Oh, I wonder why. I wonder why. Like, a while back, I saw a dude, um, and he did this just the day before Hocus Pocus 2 dropped. Why. And they were all like, Is anyone ever going to acknowledge that Hocus Pocus, Hocus Pocus 1 technically justifies the Salem Witch Trials? And I'm just sitting in the background going, That's not what the fucking point uh, was! Uh, Hocus Pocus is a so silly, goofy Halloween uh, movie. Why are you looking so far into it to such a degree? Like, there's a difference between that and finding what its theme is. Oh, on finally. My, yeah, like, finding something you can take from it. In the sense yeah, of just into entertainment. Like, when I talk about stuff about... Oh, dear God. Uh, oh, run! <laughs> I'm trying. There we go. Ugh. Anyway, like, there's a difference between looking for something that builds up something to completely blow your mind compared to something like, it's a movie about, like, learning to trust your friends or, like, you know, those kind of things. Those are the kind of themes I look for because those are daily bases that we tend to learn around. What's, yeah. your, what's your, what's your, what, what, what's up? I'm, like, trying to launch the thing, but every time I try and launch it, it just suddenly disappears. That's weird. At... Have you tried killing it through Task Manager? That's what I'm trying right now. Okay. It, it, it makes no sense. It's like, I get it. People want to make their own opinions on certain things and try to um, explain it. But it, at the same time, some of these headcanons make little to no goddamn sense. But yeah, especially when they get to overanalyzing. Oh, good lord, yes. Especially when they get to that. And then they afterwards get offended if you dare question it in a very, like, logical or even calming sense. God, this is reminding me of somebody who believed that Star Swirled was Discord. Oh, God. That there was thing. a lot I mean, of people. To be fair, I, I mean, a lot of people thought that, and that's fine. But once the show came out and proved otherwise, eh. And if you don't want to believe that it, that's That actually never crossed my mind. Yeah, there were some people huh. out there. That's yeah, an interesting there were, theory. Yeah, there were some people out there who believed that Discord was Star Swirl because, I guess, similarities and such, and how close he was with the prince and how connected he was to the princesses. There's actually a comic, I remember correctly, I don't remember if the comic was ever complete, where it was a Celestia Discord shipping comic, but it also revealed that, dis that Discord was, in fact, Star Swirl the Bearded. Well, considering that's been debunked, that just proves you don't need to read the comics to know the show better. Well, no, 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 no. This was not in the MLP comics. This was a fan comic. Oh, okay. Yeah. Never mind. Which, you know, makes a lot more sense. Okay, that, that makes more sense. Yeah. The, I don't know what the actual comics did with Discord, other than just being its own different canon, so, meh. I mean, if the comics are their own canon, that's fine. I don't like it when people are saying that, oh, this didn't explain in the show, well, then read the comics. No, the show needs yeah. to explain the most important details. 
No, at, for at me, that I point, just... the comics are just borderline fan fiction. I consider the comics more or less just its own canon continuity. And even then, it, it, it goes all over the map sometimes. But again, I understand why some people really enjoyed the comics. And again, there were certain people who really, really threw tantrums about the comics, especially involving some a certain um, shadow pony. Not gonna say their names, but dear God, that got really, really annoying. <sighs> anyway, um, what else? Head can weird head cannon theory things. Oh, that's right. Trying to think of another example of someone who got very pissy over their head cannons and such. Like oh yeah, an ex go ahead. Um, sorry, go on. Uh, I was just finishing your sentence. Oh, yeah. Well, basically, I was remembering um, one time I got into a debate with somebody. Well, not a debate, but I witnessed um, a friend get into an argument with this one person. I'm not going to say who they are because I'd rather not attract their attention. But they were relatively known in the Ask Pony community, and they also wrote some, some well-known fan fictions. But they got really, really prissy over the whole implication of, um, of that little Philly character that pretty much tried to ruin everything, uh, Cozy Glow. Yeah, Cozy Glow. Yeah, with season nine and how, what was her fate at the very end of the show. Like, they got very defensive over that whole situation, to the point where they actively got into arguments with, with my friend about it. And then even more so, in particular, with me, when I ended up trying to calmly explain to them that, yes, they can disagree over this certain episode, which was um, Rock Off and Hearth Place, because they flat out even went as far as to say, this episode endorses euthanasia, because of what happened with uh, Rock Hoof and how he wanted to be turned back to stone. And I got into a full on debate with this person over di over how, you know, this, this is their opinion, and how, you know, they should expect others' opinions, but they're, again, their uh, friend of theirs barged in going, oh no, if, you know, it doesn't mean that, it, it personally means that they're right, and, you know, that's a fact that, they, that this episode is bad. Well, I mean, the whole thing of euthanasia is uh, new. Well, the, the thing there, about the episode so. is that they pretty much assumed the episode was about euthanasia when, mm, no. it real at least for me, it wasn't. I could see why their argument would pretty much come out that way, but it did. But for me, it didn't feel that way, and they were just simply kind of just looking way too deep in the episode. It didn't help either that their friend had the audacity to accuse me of being into cringe mocking culture. All because I said Keck. I'd do it Not ironically in some ways. I just say it because it's a funny word, but they literally like Or I weaponize it against some people. Yeah. I just use it because it's a funny word. It's a funny, awkward word, and yet this person's like, Oh you oh, this means you Oh, you said Keck, so that pretty much means that you really endorse that sort of cringe harassment culture I'm like, um No, no. that doesn't mean that. God, I just say better. the word because it's fucking funny to say. I'm like, all right, whatever. <sighs> wow, it is easy to get lost in the um, Everfree Forest. I mean, it is the Everfree Forest. I'd help you, but the map... Yeah, the Everfree Forest is a bitch to get lost in. But <laughs> yeah. I, I'd help you, but I'm still waiting for this thing to update again to see if I had to install it all over again to see if it will actually work this time. So. Hopefully. I just don't I get people that just refuse to believe and say stuff like maybe they just. D. Um, I can't pronounce that. Allahu Akbar. Uh, welcome, first time viewer. Uh, I, I, pardon me for mispronouncing your name. Dehati fan. Dehati fan? Uh, in the Twitch chat. Yeah. Oh, no, I was just trying to correct the name too. Da, da, ba, no, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. <laughs> Welcome to the You've Mad got Man. A mail. Oh, Welcome no. to North Korea. <laughs>
Welcome, oh welcome, welcome. Oh my god. Hey, um, Riley? Hey, uh, Riley. What, what, what is it? What is okay, it? There we go. Okay, so somebody apparently did a drawing where they look, where they literally drew Sora and Ty from Digimon and put them right next to another, and they're just like, wait. I think the joke is that they're they're pretty much saying that they look exactly the same. Yeah, I think you mean Sora and uh, Chris Thorndike. No, no, Ty from Digimon, not Chris Thorndike. Sora and Ty? And Ty, you uh, know, from Digimon Adventure? Yeah. What the hell is that? I don't, I don't see the resemblance. Digimon. I, I, yeah, they both have spiky hair, yes, but it's not as much similar shaped as, uh, like, Chris Thorndike from Sonic X. Maybe it's just me. Eh, fair. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun with this new microphone. Clearly. Are you going to have an opera voice? Probably not. Aww. I was going to ask you to try to do, um... Vincent Price being manipulative, being very suave. Vincent Price. Mm, yes, Basil. I was gonna have you, like, yeah. quote that IRS line from the Joker. Oh my god. I love I that I need to turn down my thing. What was it? I'm so nasty. Joker, I'm say so something about nasty. the IRS. Oh! I'm crazy enough to go after Batman, but the IRS? No, thank you. <laughs> that is still hilarious. I'd be Just... better at the voice, but it's late, and I don't want to wake up anybody in the house. I can never get over that. The fact that even the Joker doesn't want to mess with the IRS. Just Holy says shit! Someone. There oh, are dragons! There's a dragon. Oh, dear. I told you! I told you there was a dragon! Whoa, okay, that's huge. I'm just trying to find my way out. Everybody's always trying to find a way out, Golden. Always. Why am I moving so slow? What was that? Why are there so many updates in this fucking game? Was that a timber wolf? Uh, is there a way to go around it? I guess not. Be fuck off. I'm not in the mood for your bullshit right now. The bullshit of the bee. The bud. The bud. The void. The bird. Actually, something that I would really love to hear Aeon say at some point, because the original video where that became a meme is no longer uh, well, available on YouTube because of reasons. Mm. Didn't, like, editor make a video about burbs? Uh... Like, kind Aeon of, was but not really. <sighs> Was it editor or? I know oh. the editor did a video where uh, it, it's called "Touch the Rump," and at the very end, Aeon did a recreation of that meme. But instead of saying "I like voids," he said "I like lights." It just doesn't carry the same humor for me as the original then, meme did. What was it? Oh, was it? What's her name? Bright. Um... Bright idea. Yeah, bright idea. Didn't she do one or something? Okay, let's see if it launches finally. Fingers crossed. It comes up for like a second and then immediately disappears. Why? What? I have no idea what's going on. So yeah, um, I think it's safe to say, uh, Shady RK9, thank you for following. So yeah, the Timberwolf one can screw off. Clouds like clay. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. 
Like, in Cloudsdale, I mean. Yeah, I think there are some quest quests that are intentionally designed that you need to finish them with a group of friends. Hmm. Which, to me, is kind of stupid. Yeah, it is, and also dangerous. Yeah. Carries the same level of stupidity that you have to actually uh, have friends who have the opposite version of a Pokemon game in order to trade to complete your Pokedex. God, that's, that was that's always ridiculous. a pain in the ass. I hated that. Yeah. Like, I get that's it. That's one it's thing I really like about... Go ahead. Like, I get it. It's supposed to encourage socializing, but what if all your friends get the same version? Oops. Mm -hmm. It's just a personal pet peeve. And that's what I really like about uh, Legends Arceus. You don't have to have friends in order to trade Pokemon. They, they've got an item that lets you evolve Pokemon that usually requires trading. Uh, uh, so you don't have to. Now, of course, it's faster if you do have friends that let you trade, but you don't have to have friends in order to uh, in order to complete your Pokedex in that one. Oh, it's starting to pour outside. Wait. What the hell is this? Is this the mines? No, I'm not looking for the mines. I'm looking for the train station. I'll Google it for you. Let's I don't know what these signs are supposed to mean. 1922, the kids want out of the mines. 2022, the kids want back in the mines of craft. Reality check to answer your question. Um, it's like it's just a pony game that you play for fun. Adventures of Golden Fox Flight of the Phoenix. It sounds like a 90s cartoon making itself into a movie. Okay, there we go. There we go. I had to download directly from the website. The one I had on my thing which just would not work. I am not going to the Heartlands. Alright, Gold, I'm going to try and join you. Okay. Near the plaza, the square. Where is what, that? Uh, what server are you on? Americas. Okay, the train station, according to this map, it looks like it's near the northwestern corner. No, <laughs> what? No! God damn it. So, like, right around here? Also, I think I saw Faith say hello to me in the chat earlier, and I forgot to uh, respond. Hi, Faith. Hi, Faith! Everybody squish to Faith. She good cat. I... Don't see Faith Poopy in the bean. chat. Where is she? Uh, where are you guys seeing this? <coughs> oh, Rich. never mind. I see it. Never mind. Nope. I am not going to the Heartlands. I'm not <laughs> turning to Albuquerque. I turn my train table up. And I see me in the full of prime position. Got my train table up. And my huh. seat in the full I guess they do have griffins. Okay, I'm, I'm in uh, clouds down. I'm going to try and find the blimp. Yeah. 
think you're getting close to the train station. I think if you keep going straight, you should get there. Alright. Uh, where are you? Ah, okay. Thank there you. There we go. You're welcome. Oh. I get. Oh, I'm so lost. Oh right yeah, now. the, the warp sent you to the Sweet Apple Acres. Yeah. Uh, you have to actually click on the train station sign right, in order to. Right. Come on. <laughs> Whoops. <Okay. laughs> oh, the guards are falling through the uh, ground right now for me. The NPCs. I saw that they were sinking through the ground. Yeah. Where's that sign? Come on. Wait. Do I have to go over here? Okay. I mean, apparently this game was updated in April last, so. This past April. Oh, there you are. Okay. Can't more. I gotta get this shirt off. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Oh. Where is the... I have no idea where I am. This, ma this These maps are so easy to get lost in. Holy shit. Yeah, the maps are garbage. Did I go up here? We'll be right back. After these messages. We'll be right back. Right back. The great truth is. Oh. We should try watching Malignant again. That was an interesting movie. That was an interesting movie. That movie was just a big WTF. But yeah. that's what made it so damn good. It's time it was... to cut out the cancer. God damn it, Riley. Cut out Candy the Man cancer 2020. And set it on fire. <laughs> Candy Candyman uh what was it? 2020 was pretty good too. Or was it 2020 or 2021? I can't remember which. Yes. 2021 if I remember correctly. Crystal Empire also has meth. Yes, I made that joke like Back in 2016. Uh, <laughs> it was that was cheap. Just... Jedi, come on. God, I, I really fucking, um. <sighs> what movie? Okay, I'll go to Cantermore. I keep telling Riley that I want to see. That I want him and everybody to see Midsommar, but I know he's not going to really be in the right place when we, if we do watch it. Oh, there's pumpkins around. That's cool. Yeah, because it's spoopy month. Yeah. You know, personal, like, like it's a pet peeve that I have and a lot of other people started to express them when I was at work. It's um, it's when there's, how, like, Christmas decorations already, even though it's not... It's September. Not, yeah, like, or October. It's like, it's not Christmas yet. It's still Halloween. Because uh, Christmas is the big marketing season where all the, like, gifts of different... Yeah, they want to market it early. Yeah, well, you know we... what? Christmas is overrated. Money. <laughs> oh, hey, Golden. I see you flying. Hang on. Shaking that ass. Out. Hello. Hi. Is that a pickaxe on your mouth? Yes. Those oh, wings perfect. on your back? Yes. Yes, they are. Yes. Boop. I am an alicorn. Yes, he is. So you're an alicorn for Halloween? Is that your... Uh, so, sure, oh, that's sure, your Nightmare sure, Night that's costume. Okay. For. Sure, sure. It's going to be fun when I, like... When next Monday I'm going to be streaming Ponytown and I'm going to go for, like, you know, that Halloween-type episode. I am so looking forward to doing my reveal of my costume. Yeah. Ooh. I'm not I'm gonna just tickle pink. I'm not gonna uh I'm not gonna tell people what we have. Like they can kind of um they can kinda of guess what it is because they were suggesting it to me. It's like I'm cool with the idea. Um let me go back and let me check because I was just asked how my GoFundMe is doing. And still five seventy five. Come on, people, open your hearts and your wallets. That's made a little <laughs> bit of progress since I had to leave. I'm sorry, reality check. 
Uh, he says, uh, I am bored. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is more of a social game, in a way, so I can understand that. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So, back to Cloudsdale. So, if you guys want to download and play with this, I think there's also a mobile version, isn't there? Yeah. I'm sorry if I'm slurring my words a bit, by the way. I am inebriated. The Cruncher Not Guy, surprised. no rush, no pressure. I'm gonna be Under streaming. pressure! I'm gonna be streaming it on the 24th. I even requested a day out from Vaughn to see if the... my job, to see if I can do that. I kind of exposed sure. that job a little. My bad. Fair. Fuck him. Fuck him, indeed. Oh, is that why Rihanna check? You're stuck in school? Good shit host okay, a Jackbox just... Games event where the player with Lunch. the worst score in every game has a... Oh, that's has brutal. That's brutal. I mean, what if the player doesn't have any money? Uh, like a dollar or something, maybe, or... Depending on, <coughs> like, I don't know. Okay, that would not be fun if a rule like that was implemented. Like, I me, mean, if it's only a dollar or something, I don't see that as too bad. Why is the sun still popping out despite that it's nighttime? It doesn't make any sense. It's supposed to be like twilight, I think. Then why are the stars so bright? Yes. Yes. That's all I can give you. Yes. I mean, the most that is ever motivating is that hey, if boom. somebody donates, I do something for them. Juke says he wants me to do something for him for a big help that he had with the GoFundMe, and I am scared to find out what it is. <laughs> you don't know what you need. <laughs> it's, it's, it's me being in the dark. That's all it is. Oh wait, where's um? Oh, it's to my right. I think that's where a Wind Rover is. I'm probably butchering the name right now. Teleport, Riley. Teleport. I will do so. <laughs> Yay! I wish I could teleport. You already are. I know, but IRL. Oh. I just do that. I would just have that sound from Dragon Ball. From Dragon Ball Z abridged. Just. Let's go, this is cool. He'll know what I want him to do. I'm guessing I know what it is. But it's like. Like, I don't want to get into any, like, spoiler territory. It probably has to do with something me in a like doing something very uncomfortable and I don't even know what. Are you and Riley on the quest for muffin button? Mm. Muffin button. Ooh, this person has some things. Oh, it's a uh sailor outfit from the looks of it. Interesting. And I'm stalking. not saying what it is, but don't make assumptions. You know what? True. Working in the library. Hey, since when Jasper started working in the library? Why am I over there? How could I have been? How could I have been so stupid? I really zoned out. <laughs> <coughs> All right. So there's a bit of a gap here. I'm gonna wait until my stand-up over charges, and then I'm gonna go flying over the pit. And off we go! I can see you. I mean, you're kind of caught up with me. Alright. Uh... Um, am I gonna be able to reach it in time? I think so. Okay. Each other much. Okay, so I think it's to my right. Oh, the, wait, that's Clouds of Clay. Oh yeah, there's actually that tiny one over there, so... 
da, 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 da. I see you running. Are you going to spread word of our Lord and Savior Princess Luna to the Crystal Empire? <laughs> ah! Lord and Savior, you say? Uh, which way am I supposed to go? Fuck. Hmm. the other thing, like, Legends of Equestria really didn't make their maps, like, user-friendly to figure out where the fuck you I are. I noticed. Loco Loom. Hi, how are you doing? I should probably do some work. Well, then what are you doing sitting there with a fork up your ass? Maybe it's his kink. You kink-shaming? I'm not kink shaming. Or is kink shaming your kink? <laughs> uh, oh wait, I think it's the next island over. Hang on. Kink shaming is my kink. That sounds like an ASDIF skit. Or ASDF yeah. skit. However you say it. I think that's where it originally originated from. A, a real. What the fuck am I trying to say? Hey, Lancer. Ronnie Winkins. Okay, hello. That is. He's, he's screwing around with the system. Like he's standing on the sides of those Roman pillars. Yeah. And who's this? Rainy days. Hello, rainy days. How you doing? The other day, I found a rain cloud that wasn't dropping any rain. I thought it was a clog somewhere. <laughs> but it turned out, it was just empty. Okay. Hmm. I'm just going to stick by the blimp for a bit and BRB. Okay. I'm not sure, Magical Star. I'm not sure. I'm also going to BRB. I'm going to get myself some milk. Milk. It does a body good. I got class to get to in several minutes. All right, raw uh, reality. Best of luck to you. And I say that while I'm back. Mm. Take some water. All right. Let's do this. We're done with the lessons for now. Is there something you wanted? I've done everything I could. I'm definitely not going to bother with that Timberwolf one. That one can just screw off. David 80, something I thought would be fun to do. Um, I'm still kind of on the fence um, on Chrissy's behalf, but it'd be fun to like do a stream, a creative hour, where I'm actually like carving jack-o'-lanterns. Okay, it looks like it's not going to let me play uh, Legends of Equestria. It's probably because I have an older laptop. It's not really a gaming laptop, so... Ah. Uh. Oh, well. <sighs> there isn't always but a later. But at least now I know. I may have sat on precious memories and experiences that you won't be um, able to re -way. Are you absolutely sure that's what you want? I have nothing else to do. Okay, what do you want to know? What's good about choosing a talent? Could I become an artisan? I want to fight for Equestria. 
Okay. Always grow food. I want to earn a... In flying. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go for that one. I'm cold, but I must prepare for the upcoming flying lessons with my class. That's the thing. I was hoping to join that <coughs> class. Oh, dear. I remember, you know. You did file your paperwork. You need to have to enroll my flying course in order to make it. It worked. Nobody told me about any paperwork. Yes, um, yes, bureaucracy is the source of discipline. Indeed, talented young ponies like yourself are too often grounded by red tape and reform. I'm sorry, but my hooves are tied. Nope, I guess it wasn't meant to be. Wait, this isn't fair. Nobody told me I was supposed to do that. How could I have known? Is there any other way for me to learn about flying? I think it's my talent. Is anyone... Is anyone less strict having a class? Okay. You know, there are several other ponies who were diligent in getting their permission slips, and I organized them into an unofficial group near the racetrack. Some of the chaser is teaching them and um, what he learned from failing my class. To, um, failing my class three times in a row. It won't earn you a certification, but you might pick up some decent tips. Please, I'll wait till the class reopens and then get a real teacher, or why not? Can't hurt. Better take a poke in the eye. Better than a poke in the eye. Good luck. I must continue preparing for my class. Everyone who gets, um... Wow. That's, that's giving kids diabetes right there. <laughs> Let them eat cupcake. Full yellow jacket? Wait, what's this? When Hoover said I should talk to Sunlight Chaser for some tips on flying an official class on the racing track. Talk to Sunlight Chaser. Alright. So, where's Sunlight Chaser? By the racetrack, I guess? It did say something about, um, full yellow jacket. By the racetrack. Um, it's like clay, clouds like clay. Oh. So it looks like I'm nearby. <coughs> ah, duh. sorry. And and drop. You were seven with tense, Edward. Yeah, it was just suddenly tense. At least you can fly. True. Is that what this is? No, this is something else. Whoa, hello. Is this a runway? Oh. Ah. I, I think that person with the exclamation point. Hi, how are you doing? Hey, beat it. We're doing super important le uh, learning stuff over here. Whoever sent me here to learn it. Oh, in that case, make yourself comfortable because you're about to make like a fish and get schooled. Oh, please. Approve of that pun. You haven't taught us anything. You just keep bragging about how a great flyer you supposedly are. Oh. Uh. Oh. I shouldn't have to. This is an intermediate course. You should already know how to fly. If not, there's always flying kindergarten with the other babies. Maybe you're in the wrong place. Jeez. My Jesus God, Christ. dude. How about you actually start a lesson brutal. so I can find out? Damn. 
I thought I was watching an episode of Newbie Dash for a sec. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. Yeah, cool it. And I'm here to teach you, so if little Miss Sunshine can't put a cork in it, I'll start the lesson. Okay, then do it. Now, I'm not uh, prepared to teach you all these advanced error tactics until you've shown me. Uh, you can put one f um, wing in front of the other. First things first, you gotta ha we're gonna have a race. You all get a steamrolled by the steam um, by the master man ma monsoons and the temper of tempests, the sidekick of clones, cyclones. Sure, let me know when he shows up. I think I've had enough of your attitude, you two-bit concurrent jack wagon. This class is for the best and the brightest right now, and all I'm seeing is a couple of patronizing little fizzbin caddyshack hootierlin lugna. Dude, like, pour some water on yourself. Chill out. Could we do the race, please? All right, you bamboozling members, it's time to put your wings where your mouth is. You're gonna try to beat my time on the track through the rings and across the finish line. And the last place uh, has the shameful dishonor of being the last to learn my upcoming lesson. You're gonna miss out. Um, wasn't this supposed to be like one sentence here? <coughs> oh, okay. This is ridiculous. You just want a lame excuse to race. Not listening, ready, set, go. Okay, so where do I go? Yeah, you didn't give everything yet. What's the matter? Can't keep up? Where am I supposed to go? Hang on. I guess you start flying and looking for rings in the sky? Yeah, seriously, like, this is not a very clear indication of where you're supposed to go. Somebody told me that the flying choice is broken. You have to fly around the place. There are circles. Okay. Okay, blender. Oh wait, here, there we are. Oh, it's okay. like Spyro. Oh gosh. There we go. Let's just fly across all this. There. Watch your energy, though. Oh, have I missed anything? No? Oh, there's like three more explanation points, so... What now? Oh my god, the camera's so jaggedy, it's almost nauseating. Uh, who that? Oh, hi, Jesse. Ooh. Come to watch the stream. Oh, okay, so there's one here. Okay. Is that everything? Looks like it. Okay, now where is that son of a bitch? Good race. I might be able to turn you lollylagon, bodacious scallywags into real flyers yet. Yeah, thanks for not explaining everything, jerkwad. <laughs> Do it then, for the love of all things. Dark and handsome. Let's start with the most basic defensive move. You can create a small twister to protect yourself and fly, um, fight off dangerous creatures in the air or off the ground. Select a tornado from your available attacks and target on the opponent and besiege them with your very own cyclone. We'll be using that particularly convenient cloud right as a target, perhaps ever talking of Golden Poppy. Would you like to go first? Can't do it. Try harder, Goblace Phoenix. Show her how it's done. Okay. Okay. 
part. Forgive me for doing this. So where's the cloud that's going to be the target? Go ahead and cast your spell on the large cloud. Besiege it with your very own cyclone. What large cloud? Let me check the map again. I don't see anything on there. Ah, okay. That's a large cloud. Hmm. That is pretty cool. Didn't see anything happen. I think I know what it is. Yeah, because kaboom, and then kaboom, and then not enough energy. Kaboom. There. Oh, okay. Very good. A twister that would stagger the most flapper na uh, knave, and it'll be more powerful the further you are from the target. Oh, really? You're a flapper knave. Ha! Got him. <laughs> you got something to say, you belong in kerfuffle, or are you going to stand there with a cyclone of your own? You're not teaching us anything. You're just telling me to make a cyclone. But not, uh, but not how. I quit. That's not the attitude I will bring to the glory skies. Go Blaze Phoenix has got it, though. Go Blaze Phoenix, let's get keep going. The next move I want to teach you is blowback. It will send ripples of force through the air all around you, making threats more slower and even knocking the wind out of them. See if you can hit the same cloud as before with this new move. All right. Why don't you demonstrate first, huh? Maybe show us a preview? I actually can't pull this one off. This is where I repeatedly got flunked out of Wind Hoover's class. Then why are you teaching it to us? <laughs> yeah, why are you telling us to do it uh, when you can't do it yourself? Yeah, really. Also, I heard my name. I'm like, what? Huh? So this must be the <laughs> blowback. Hmm. I think I've got an idea of how to do the trick for my costume. Oh. That's what it's supposed to look like. Wow, Go Blaze Phoenix, you're a natural. I know, I'm awesome. Thanks, I wish <laughs> I could have taken the actual... Ooh, that's a pot shot. Do that one, do that one. Yeah. Punch the face! I knew I was a real <laughs> teacher. Wait. Wait till Windblower sees how well I've taught Goldblaze Phoenix. <laughs> oh, please. Goldblaze Phoenix is a statistical anomaly. A June Beetle would have done a better job teaching us how to fly. Oh! Rough. Ouch. Oh! I mean, she's not wrong. Yeah, she's not wrong. <laughs> yes, it's but like, still... I mean, that's not inaccurate. <laughs> oh, yeah, go ahead and blame the whole class because you failed. Everyone else did. Just, uh, where's Walnut? Yeah, so you were saying sunlit? Dear God. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Wasn't he just here? Never came back from the race. Honestly, I didn't notice he was gone. Quiet kid. Walnut can barely find his way to class of the bell rings. I bet he got lost. The race was like five minutes. That's downright impressive lack of navigation. We need to spread out and uh, find him. Make sure he's okay. Cheeky Scamp can't even take care of himself. You're one to talk when you say that you don't even know that one move called, what's it again? Blowback. Blowback. <laughs> All right, so find walnut. All right. Mission: find walnut. Yep. 
Where's Walnut? Yeah. <laughs> That I'm actually glad you works. picked up on the joke. Oh, he's flying away. I don't know who he is. Yo, where are you going? Crap. Was that Walnut? You find Walnuts at the shop. Hmm. Okay, where's the shop? Where's the I think that's supposed points? to be a joke. Oh. He's moving so fast I could barely read what it's saying. Oh. I think I have an idea. What? If he's moving so fast, why not try slowing him down? Like, block him or something? No, use that ability. Oh, that's oh, supposed to be a uh, trainee. Hang on. Yeah, that's so a trainee. That's not Walnut. Okay, never mind. Okay. Where's the map? Maybe the trainee is Walnut. I don't know. Now, when, when did have identified him by name, though? Well, that didn't do shit. All right. Wait, go back. I thought I saw like an exclamation point on uh okay stop. I think I thought I saw like one that's to the side, like To the left to, or like, right? Uh the direction you're facing it would now be the left. Like there was it was like um uh, go further back. Go back. Okay, now stop. Look to the right. Uh further to the right? I thought I saw an exclamation point. Hmm. Maybe I just imagined it. I think that I think that was the lights. Oh, my bad. Well, crap. All it's right, okay. Let's, let's let wind hover now. Or wind hover. Shit ton of things. Dominic. Hello. I, I, oh, Jesus! <laughs> Sorry, I gotta Whoops. get used to these controls. Do I do whisper? What does Whisper even do, anyway? No, I, I have no idea. I'll have to look this up. Just give me a second here. While you do that, I'll be right back. Alright. <coughs> so, Legends of Equestria... Chat commands. Is the, okay. Check me to <coughs> created a character. <clears throat> I'm back. Welcome back. What happened? Squish. Oh. Oh, Ripple. Yes? Guess who I got to meet at a convention yesterday? 
Who? John Delancey. Cool. Do yep. I have to add him as a friend first before I can whisper to them? Because I presume whisper involves, like, DMing. I that would make no sense. Idea. And he left. Okay. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, what's the name? Blizzard Star. I've seen him around before. Let's see if this will make any difference. Whoa! Disconnected connection timed out? What? Remember that used to happen yeah, whenever I too. did Hold used on. to play Legends of Equestria. That was like a frequent problem. Hang on, I gotta... Legends of Equestria, full yellow jacket. Yeah, we'll go back into the game. That was weird. There we go. I just got booted out. Like, I don't even know what happened. <coughs> it does that every so often. If you don't play, if you don't, if you're not active in it enough. Right, so, what are you trying ooh, to do? I can get a Majora wooden replica. A Majora's Mask wooden replica. Okay. Ah. Walnut. Exit the racetrack and follow the road. Walnut can be found near a house on the right. Ah, da, 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 da. No, I was typing in the chat. Come on. Not bad. How are you? Party private grid manager. Um, sure. Dominic doing good. Okay. So, from what it looks like, I have to press this little plus button over here. Let's see. When is it not? True. <coughs> I gotta do a little experiment. Do not oh. mind me! Um, I mistyped what? Av. Also, do not mind me. I'm experimenting with a costume. I do need to make him a little longer. So I think he might it. either be at the finish line or in a building. Dominic, for now, I'm going to try to finish Thunder Boost mission. Okay, according to this, it says, exit the racetrack and follow the road. Walnut can be found near a house on the right. Okay. So, a house on the right. Um... Yeah, you exit the racetrack and you follow the road. Nice track when you follow the road. Okay, so... So, I'm guessing... Oh, um, hey, everyone. Alright. <laughs> my... There's my measuring oh. tape. Oh. Hey, what are you doing over here, Walnut? Hey, you're the cold who showed up late to class. Boy, am I glad to see you. I lost during her, uh, got lost during her flight, and now my wing is injured. I can't fly. The rest truck was right there. How could you have possibly gotten lost? Or... What? Okay, fine, I admit. I can't fly. I'm a Pegasus who can't fly. There, I said it. I really didn't want to look bad in front of the others hmm. at flying school. Okay. I thought maybe just this once I could try to fly and retain a shred of dignity, but it went horribly, and now, and now I crash land. 
in the middle of nowhere. How did I how could this get any worse? Ugh, I'm allergic to hornets. I regret everything. Oh, God. Okay, yeah. Hey, time to kill some bees. Yeah. Nope. Be <coughs> gone, heathen. You're up against the beast, Golden. Yep. One. Be gone. That's horrible. That was horrible. <laughs> Come yeah, on. I regret nothing. <laughs> well, I'm glad uh, one of us was paying attention to Sunlit's class. We might have. Da -da -da -da. And Golden, stay alert though. There's always more hornets in the forest where I came from. Oh, jeez. There's still more? More bees. Alright. No. Let's bees. blow them away. Or not. Or cyclone them. Do I have to click on them? The way? Oh. Yeah, I think you have to click on them. You're clicked on walnut right now. No, 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 no. Ow. Give it Dude, these hornets are not doing squat. They're barely hurting me. I should give it enough space to make it poofy on the bottom. And then we've got these guys, which, if I remember right. Walnut, where are you? This All was right. Sunlit, what happened to your hair? I'm sorry, what? When when Sunlit was talking just now, he it, he didn't have hair on him. At least it didn't look like it from when I saw it. Free health is free health. True. Don't look a gift. I'm <laughs> 24. That should give it some extra. Proof. All right. Uh. And then 11, but make it 23. Oh, wait, that's a dead end. But make it just a little bit more. Probably like 36. Should be enough. Walnut, where were you? I got a little lost as all. I just got a bit uh, discombobulated while flying and landed in the wrong place, but Gold Boy saved me. I thought you didn't know how to fly. Oh! Busted! Wait, you know about that? Everyone knows about that. I've been skipping PE since kindergarten claiming you aren't feeling well. Oh, you've been... Oh, I'm skipping it. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, Walnut. We're all here because we aren't good at flying. Even Sunlit. Through the f Though he refuses to admit it. <laughs> but practice makes perfect and we're your friends. We'll all get better together. Except Goldbase Phoenix. They're already way better than we... Okay. I'm so. sure you'll never be... No. Everybody has different strengths. I'm sure you have better than me at something. It's true. I snuck at a peek in the covers and submitted when. Uh, da, 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 da. Go tell Windhover that you graduate from my class and congratulations. You have what it takes to become a legendary flyer. Thanks for asking me, Goldblix Phoenix. Hit me up later and let's play video, <laughs> video games oh, in Equestria. Wow. In Equestria? That's pretty I, I, funny. I just love the meta humor here. Mm hmm. Hit me up later and let's play video games. Uh, we're kind of playing one right now. You just don't realize it. <laughs> <laughs> I could have said something silly like, we'll play Smash Brothers or Among Us. Mm. Then again, I stopped playing Among Us. Maybe it's just a friendship plot problem and it'll be cleared up in a half hour or so. <laughs> <laughs> Lessons for now. Um... Ah, that was the most excellent flying class today. The Cloudopolis' professional flying team made a surprise appearance and selected the most promising students for exclusive internships, not to mention they were passing out scholarships like candy along with the actual candy. Shame you weren't able to attend. 
I heard that you saved Walnut from a giant hornet. So that's a level of training I would never um, have authorized. But you've already, um, but you're already proficient in a defensive. Ugh, flying to that degree. I think my class would be too low level for you. I'm prepared to grant you an honorary uh, pass from my flying school. Flying may be your very special talent. Do not take this certification lightly. It all comes with challenges and responsibilities of adulthood, and your path will forever set in the clouds. Excellent. Mm. I know I am destined to be a great flyer. There are many paths a pony can uh, take into their life. Our species and our destinies intertwine and uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, long story short. Oh! Oh. Um. Wait. Oh my god, he's grown up! Be big boy! Me be big boy! Yay! He's squishable more than ever now. All right, this has squish, squish, squish the golden. Four point seventy five yards. I've grown yeah. some testicles now. <laughs> what the hell? Hey, what the? Hey, buzz off! <laughs> Just all of a sudden, a bunch of hornets flying here. Get out of here! Hey, golden. Yes, Riley. You're a big kid now. <laughs> 